OMG, I'm so proud of you, honey. I can't believe my baby boy is all grown up and graduating high school. When did you get so big? <laughs> How is it you can embarrass me even over text? A mom is just able to do these things. It's all part of being a parent, lol. <laughs> but in all honesty, thanks mom. I really couldn't have done this without you. I mean, you were there to help me every time I didn't understand something and you helped me study my worst subjects. I really don't know what I would have done without your support. Oh, stop. You're going to make me cry. Has your father messaged you yet? I told him that he needed to and reminded him what an important day this was for you. As if he'd messaged me. You know what he's like, Mom. He doesn't care if I graduate or not. I'm just glad you remembered. As if I'd forget. Here, I'll message your dad and remind him again. You know how busy he gets at work, so he's probably just not had the time to get to his phone yet. You really shouldn't bother. I honestly don't care if he congratulates me or not. Nonsense. Oh, and don't open your present yet when you get home. I want us all to be together when you do it, okay? Okay, I promise. Thank you, hun. Hey, Rick, sweetie. Have you had the chance to talk to Thomas today? It is his graduation day, after all. Oh yeah, that's today, isn't it? No, I've not had the time to talk to him yet. Oh, well, maybe you could give him a message or a call now, just to say congratulations. You missed a ceremony this morning, so it would be nice for him to have some words of congratulations from you. I'll do it in a bit. I'm busy at the moment. It'll only take a moment. I mean, you're talking to me right now. Just sent him a message. I just said that I don't want to right now. Not to mention that you're bothering me at the minute too. What? God, I just about had it with your constant whiny nature. Come to think about it, actually, now that Thomas has graduated from high school, he'll be off to college soon, right? Yeah, you know he will. He's gotten into one of the best colleges possible. He told us all of this ages ago. He's got a scholarship and he's going to study to become a lawyer. Ah, uh, so he's going to be earning quite a lot of money then. I guess. What's this got to do with anything? Well, it just means that I no longer have any use for you. What? Yeah, I only really kept you around so that you could raise Thomas. I never really wanted kids, so I thought the best way of being able to live my life as normally as possible was to have you raise him. But now that he's older, he can help me out in my old age. I'll even be able to retire early on his wage. He can send me up in a nice house and stuff. What are you on about? Are you seriously trying to tell me that the only reason you bothered to stay around with me and Thomas was so that you could ensure your retirement plan when you were older? And what of it? Look, like I said, I have no use for you anymore, so I'm getting a divorce. A divorce? Yeah. It's not that difficult to understand. I don't love you and I don't want to be with you anymore. I mean, honestly, what use are you to anyone now? You haven't had a job in years. I've had to carry this family. You have no skills. The best you could do is check out, girl. And I don't want you landing around my house all day now that you've got no kid to deal with. Dang, why are you being so vile? Well, honestly, I'm saying that I don't want a pathetic old woman like you in my life anymore. Is that easy enough to understand? But I thought you loved me. We've been married for almost 20 years. You thought wrong. Why would anyone love you? Maybe if you'd actually made something of yourself, but it's far too late for you to do that now. You're just a useless housewife and I don't want you anymore. I can't believe that I actually married a horrible man like you. Where's the Rick who I fell in love with? who wanted to marry me all those years ago. He was an idiot who didn't see how much you'd actually drag him down. Look, just make this easy for the both of us, sign the divorce papers, and leave. I'm sure Thomas doesn't want a loser of a mother hanging around any longer either. There's no way he wouldn't be embarrassed to introduce any girlfriends he gets in college to you. He wouldn't want them to think that he's just as stupid and useless as you. I'm not useless or stupid. And if you think I'm just going to give you an easy divorce and let you get away with everything you've been saying, then you've got another thing coming. 
Oh, and I know all about you cheating on me, by the way. What? How? Did you really think that I was that stupid? You're not exactly the best at sneaking around. It was obvious that you were hiding something, and it only took a little bit of digging to discover the truth. It was kind of pathetic, actually. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter because she's the one I want to be with, not you. Who's the pathetic one now, huh? From where I'm standing, it's still you. You couldn't even be bothered to come and attend your own son's graduation. Only a truly worthless father would do something like that unless he had a proper reason. You just wanted to go and waste time with your new girlfriend. How did you know I was with her? Like I said, do you really think that I'm that stupid? Oh, whatever. Just sign the divorce papers when they get to you. Now leave me alone. Whatever. Hey, Thomas. I tried to message your dad, but I couldn't get a hold of him. Don't worry, though. I'm sure he'll congratulate you soon. But tonight, we can celebrate by going out or something. Does that sound okay? That sounds great, Mom. And you don't need to cover for Dad anymore, you know? I know that he's probably off blazing somewhere and that he simply can't be bothered with me. It's fine, though, because now that I'm old enough, I can't be bothered with him either. Sweetie, are you sure that you want to close your relationship with your dad off like that? He hasn't been there for the past 18 years of my life. Why should I care about him for the next 20 of his? Well, it's your decision, but for now, let's celebrate. Okay, I'll be home soon. I'll see you soon then. I love you. Love you too, Mom. Hey, Mom, how come you never told me that you and Dad were getting a divorce? Oh, so your dad told you about that? Y yeah, why didn't you? I didn't want to ruin your graduation. It was such a special occasion that I didn't want to bring the mood down. I'm sorry. It's okay, but just so you know, I don't think it's a bad thing at all. What? You don't? No, he was a lousy dad and a poor husband. He treated you rubbish. I wouldn't be surprised if he had been cheating on you with someone so much worse than both personality and looks. He can never get with someone as great as you. Ah, uh, well, he apparently has been seeing another woman. But are you sure you're okay with us getting a divorce? Yeah, why wouldn't I be? You deserve so much better than him. It's just, I haven't really amounted to much in my life. I've just been a stay-at-home mom and wife. Aren't you embarrassed for your friends to know that? No, of course not. Being a mom is hard, and as for not accomplishing much, hello, I'm here. You raise me, and I, for one, am incredibly grateful. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Besides, you can put your mind to whatever you want, and I know you'll be successful in whatever endeavor you choose to do. You're my mom after all. You don't think I'm too old to make something of myself? Not at all. And if Dad said you were, then just ignore him. 99% of the things that come out of his mouth are nonsense anyway. Thank you, sweetheart. It's nice to know someone supports me. Hey, you look out for me and I look out for you. Definitely. Just you watch. I'll do something amazing. I believe in you all the way, Mom. Hey, Rachel. It's been quite a while since we last spoke. How are you? Rick? Yeah, it's me. What do you want? What? Can a husband check in with his wife and see how she's doing? Ex-wife. Ah, uh, yes. Well, that's not important. I think maybe we should meet up and have a drink or coffee. Maybe we could finally work on sorting our relationship out. What relationship? You burned that bridge quite a while ago. Wait, let me guess. You want to try and get on my good side because you've heard all about how I've started a business and it's going great? What? No, I would never do something like that. Right. In fact, I've been feeling quite down lately. 
And why is that? Well, my girlfriend left me. As soon as I didn't have enough money to pay for what she wanted, she left me. But not before taking me for almost every penny I had. Not at all like you. She wasn't half as kind and caring and considerate. And with how much you're earning now, we could live quite a happy life together. What do you say? You want to give our relationship another shot? Not at all. What? You heard me. Now that I'm finally free of a lazy, condescending, and mean-spirited person like you, why on earth would I want to put myself through that torture again? But... Not to mention that I'm enjoying my life as it is. After you said all those hurtful things about me not being able to amount to anything, I decided that I wanted to prove you wrong. And, as you can see, I've managed to build up my very own company, and it's a massive hit. I'm earning quite a lot, and it's only going to grow. Why would I want to trade that in for a man who would have rather belittled me than help raise our son? Oh, and by the way, Thomas is settling in nicely to college, if you even care. Well, now that I've said what I needed to say, I'm going to get going. I'm a very busy and important woman, after all. Wait, well, what about me? What do I do? I've got some huge debts that my girlfriend ran up, so if you could just spare me a bit of money? That's definitely not happening. If you don't like the fact that you haven't got any money, then maybe you should try and amount to something else. As for us, I don't want to hear from you ever again in all honesty. Leaving me was the best decision you ever made. Thank you. B but Sorry, but it seems you're in the find-out stage of your actions. It turned out that all I really needed to do to build a life for myself was to get rid of you. B but I'm your husband. You should listen to me. I should be given half the money due to all the money that I had to spend when we were together. You were nothing but a stay-at-home mom. You hardly spent anything. You might have kept a roof over our heads, but aside from that, you weren't a part of my life or Thomas's at all. You never spent any time with us at all, and you always belittled us and talked down to us when you did decide to grace us with your presence. Well, work stress was getting me, and dealing with a family on top of that was stressful too. Sure. Well, you don't need to worry about me or Thomas stressing you out ever again. Hang on, let's talk about this. No thanks, you've done enough. Now I need to get on with my life. I divorced Rick like I said I would. Once I was free of him, I was able to expand my business and it is doing amazingly well. And even though Rick claimed that I couldn't do anything, I was more than happy to prove him wrong. Hey, you old hag. Looks like you got stuck working overtime again, didn't you? I left my work on your desk too. Make sure you don't forget it now. Oh, it's you again. Gloria, you really should not be sloughing off your work onto others. You really need to be better about finishing it on time and by yourself. Maybe you should make a schedule for yourself so you can be better organized about your work. Oh, so lame. No wonder you're, what, 37 years old and still single? No one is going to marry you if you are going to boss everyone around like that. You better shape up if you ever want anyone to look at you as a partner. You're just wasting your youth, lonely and single. That must really suck to know that, huh? I don't really see what my relationship status has to do with any of what I just said to you. I was only saying that you should do your own work just like everyone else does. That's it. Actually, I don't have to. Thank you very much. Unlike you, I still have two things going for me. Youth and beauty. Remember those? I really do not see what any of this has to do with just being responsible and getting your own work done on time. Ugh, please. Besides, I am actually about to get married. Though I guess I never told you till just now. That's why I can't do my work. I'm too busy going on dates and enjoying life. Not that you would understand what that is like, you old maid. 
You're better off doing work for your younger, cuter co-worker, don't you think? Gloria, are you listening to yourself? None of that is related to work at all. We are talking about how it is up to the individual employee to get their own work done on time. Have you ever been married before? Excuse me. I still don't see what point you're trying to make. I am saying that this is the happiest I've ever been in my life. And I think that you are just jealous of me living my best life. You're jealous, and that is why you are saying all these mean little things to me. I really wish you'd get over it and stop all that already. It is, like, really not a good look for you, to be honest. I am not saying anything mean right now. And I think you should know that my life really is not as sad as you think it is, Gloria. In fact, I live a very happy and fulfilled life, I would say. If you're happy with where you are at, then get back to doing my work and don't try to lecture me, Grandma. Anyways, I have a date I need to get to with my soon-to-be husband. See you! Enjoy finishing up all that work. Who knows when you'll be able to go home? Are you even listening to me anymore, Gloria? Because I refuse to do any more of your work. Do you understand me? Next time, you will have to do it by yourself. I am sick of picking up your slack. Hi, honey. I am really sorry, but I do not think I will be able to make it to our date on time. Do you think we could reschedule for another day? Oh, no. Yeah, of course that's fine. Did something happen today? Is everything all right? Well, it is just Gloria being her usual self again. She never does what she is supposed to, and her work always falls to me. Gloria, huh? Is that the one co-worker you were telling me about? Joined the company a while after you did. Why didn't you just tell her that you refused to do it? She had already gone home by the time I realized she had left her work for me. And we need to get all this paperwork submitted by tomorrow. I really can't even say when I'll get home tonight thanks to this. Mary, you really are too kind. You do know that, right? It's one of the reasons I love you so much. But you can't let her treat you like that. Aw, John. You really are too sweet. Do you know that? Well, I just care about you a lot. I hate to see you treated this way. Okay, in that case... I'll just head to meet you there. I can help you get all that work done, and then we can go home together. How does that sound? Are you sure? I really would hate to make you come all the way just for that. What are you talking about? I get to spend time with you, and that's reason enough. Besides, I wanted to talk to you about the wedding. You're the person I want to spend my life with, Mary. You do know that, right? John, it still makes me so happy every time you say that to me. Well, I mean it. But there is a lot we have to do to get ready for the wedding. So, every hour counts. Let's take some time this weekend to talk it out in more detail and get things ready. Yeah, let's get it done this weekend. You're right. Anyways, I am just so sorry this happened again. I know how much time it takes that we could be spending on things together. Come on now. You can't really expect me to blame that on you when you have someone like Gloria to deal with at work. Do you want me to say something? No, no. That would be too much. Thank you, though. I was selected as supervisor, so it is my job to make sure she knows how to do her job. So, I'll do my job by making her do hers. That's another reason why I love you. You have such a strong sense of responsibility. In that case, I just have one thing that I want to ask of you. Of course, John. What is it? Please try not to let yourself get any more stressed out than you are now. For my sake. You're right. I'm really sorry if I worried you with all this. I just really think you should keep away from this Gloria lady. 
It seems like all she does every day is upset and stress you out. So just please take care of yourself, all right? Of course. I will try my best. Promise. If that is what my fiancé wants, then who am I to deny him? I'll be a good wife and listen to my husband. Okay, okay. Let's not take this too far. <laughs> Anyways, I am heading out. I will see you there soon. I'll be here. Working away. Can't wait to see you. My wedding is going to be on the next level. You have literally no clue. But don't worry. I don't mind if you come. Consider this your invitation. So now you are bragging to me about your wedding? I am not even going to bother addressing your big talk this time. I guess all I can really say is congrats on that, I guess. You know, even if a pretty young thing such as myself has gotten a little too busy for work, I am just so happy to finally be getting married. Yes, that is nice that you are getting married. I am sure you are very excited. But please at least do the bare minimum of your work. Which is to say, your own work assigned to you. Ugh. Are you really trying to ruin this moment by talking to me about work right now? Is that really the only thing you have going on in your life? God, your life sounds pathetic. Anyways, you better come to my wedding to congratulate me. And if I say I don't want to go, then what? Oh, come on! Don't be such a downer, Grandma. The least you can do is make an appearance. Anyways, the wedding is the day after tomorrow, so make sure you show up. Got it? Oh, I got... Hey! My wedding is today. You didn't forget, right? I know all people like you have trouble remembering dates, so I thought I would remind you. Hello, Gloria. No, I have not forgotten about your wedding. And I certainly haven't forgotten as much as you. What are you talking about? Your senile ramblings aren't making any sense. And besides, I am ten years younger than you. I promise that if either of us is the forgetful one, it is you. So then you are saying that you purposefully forgot to file those documents even though today was the deadline? What are you talking about? It's my wedding day and we are not going to be talking about work. Got it. Anyways, don't tell me that you are coming to try and find yourself a man. Excuse me? What is that supposed to mean? Try your best. But I really don't think that you are going to have any luck finding a man who would want you here. Don't ruin the vibe of my wedding by trying to desperately hit on younger men here. Got it. Gloria, I am married. What? <laughs> you don't need to lie to me, you know. Especially not with something as obvious as that. Anyways, you are going to show up today, right? Because I'll allow it as long as you're not here to hit on the men. Yes, I will be going. With my husband. <laughs> sure. I have told you several times now that I am married. So yes, I will be going to your wedding with my husband in tow. Enjoy your wedding, Gloria. Oh, I will. And I will especially enjoy meeting your imaginary husband, too. <laughs> you married. Oh man, that is a good one. You really need to choose better lies, though. Thank goodness I got married in my 20s. Well, I'm happy that you're happy, but please stop taking it out on me. Why isn't it enough that someone is happy with their own life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really care about whatever lecture you have prepared for me today. Anyways, see you at the wedding. Yes, I will see you there. Hey! 
Hey! What is this? What is going on here? Why isn't anyone here at my wedding? What? But my husband and I were just there. And then you started to go off as you do, trying to take me down a peg. Well, that upset my husband, of course. But you do realize that that is your own fault for what you said, right? I don't know what that has to do with anything! You're not making any sense! What isn't making sense to you here? You insulted me in front of everyone, and then my husband got upset. You are telling me that you can't put that together? I would think that would be a pretty obvious one. Even for you. I mean, you were calling me grandma and old hag in front of everyone. Don't you even have the slightest bit of shame? No. You know very well that that is not what I do not understand. What I don't understand is how are you married to our CEO? Oh, right. That fun little fact. Hadn't you heard? How can an old woman like you be married to the CEO? It doesn't make sense. I can't understand it. I guess you really didn't know, it seems. Actually, the truth of the matter is that John and I have been together for a long time. Wait. What? Are you being serious right now? You have got to be joking me right now. Oh no. I would never joke about something like that. It is just like I said. We were married a week ago. And you didn't invite me? Of course not. Why would I want you there? But... I invited you to mine. Actually, now that you mention it, I invited everyone else in your department but you. And since you are so self-obsessed, I guess you never heard about it. No. This doesn't make any sense. This can't be happening right now. And I still don't get why you didn't invite me to your wedding. That is so mean. How could you? Actually, John is the one who really didn't want to invite you. What? He didn't want to invite me to your wedding? But why wouldn't he want me there? I work for him too, after all. And how come I have never seen you two talk around the office then, huh? The reason you never saw John and I talking was because of all the work that you would always leave for me to do. We had almost no time to ourselves thanks to your laziness. But he saw how stressed you were always making me and decided that he definitely didn't want the source of all my problems coming to the happiest day of our lives. He said that if I have to see you every day... Then at least for this one, I could avoid you. It was his way of making sure the day was perfect for me. What? No. That can't be right. It doesn't make sense. This can't be right. You get stressed just looking at me? That can't be. I'm so cute! I promise that the stress has nothing to do with how cute you are or are not. The stress has to do with what you put me through and how you constantly try to poke fun at my age every single day. It has to do with all the put-downs and insults you hurl at me constantly. And all the work that you constantly slack on and dump onto me. Once I became supervisor, I thought that you would finally smarten up, but you just kept it your old ways. Well, what are you trying to say? Just spit it out already. I am saying that I care about the future of this company and the work we do here. And because you never even bothered to try doing your own work, I took on your share. But who cares about that now? Please come back to the wedding. How are we supposed to have it today like this? Everyone has left now. There's no one even here. I guess they saw the way you insulted me to my face and decided they didn't want anything to do with you. Especially for our co-workers who showed up. They couldn't be caught in a scene like that. But you just kept pushing and pushing once I arrived. Talking about how I was just there to pick up guys. Oh, come on now. You know that I was just kidding with that, right? I just saw you arrive with John and didn't realize he was so handsome. And I couldn't believe you were really with him. 
It was all just a joke, though. I promise. Well, I am afraid that that excuse of yours is not going to work on me. You meant exactly what you said. And because of that, you made my husband upset with all your insults. I think this is a more than fitting punishment for all that you have done to me. No, come on. You know I never meant it that way. I just thought that you were being an overbearing, annoying supervisor. And besides, I figured I was way too cute to have to actually do any work. I am very familiar with that belief of yours. Unfortunately for you, you are the only one in the whole office who shared it. To me, you are just a rude, uppity employee who refused to do their job. You should consider not being invited to my wedding to be a very light punishment for your behavior. You don't have to say it like that. And then, despite all that, I still decided to drop by your wedding to congratulate you. But you insulted me. Well, I have no intention of going back to your wedding. Oh, and one more thing. You're fired. What? Wait, no! You can't do this! What are you talking about? You can't fire me! I thought you said that you wouldn't mind not working once you got married. So I think the timing of all of this should be perfect for you now. What well, seems to be the problem here? Well, no, it's just that... I never thought I would lose my job like this. I was supposed to leave on my terms and make everyone jealous as I did. That was the whole point of this all. Well, you are still fired. There is no need to keep someone who just pretends to work while making others do it for them. Of course, John already knows all about your behavior and agreed that you are no longer an employee here effective tomorrow. So, don't bother showing up then. Got it? What is going on? Is this some kind of sick joke or something? Look, just please come back to my wedding. Everyone is gone. There is no one left here. I even ended up fighting with my husband and he stormed out on me. Please, I'm so, so sorry, Mary. I never meant for any of this to happen, so please come back. I will not go back. In fact... I don't think anyone is going to go back to be a part of your wedding. And look on the bright side. You no longer have to do a job you never even wanted to have in the first place. Now you can go and enjoy your youth like you always talked about. Have fun. I won't see you at the office tomorrow. In the end... All of our co-workers went home and didn't return. The venue might as well have had tumbleweeds blowing through it. The only person left was Gloria, alone with her shame and embarrassment. After fighting with her new husband, she tried to hide the fact that she had been fired. She had never actually discussed leaving her job with him, it seems. But eventually he found out what had happened. The marriage didn't last long as he asked for a divorce right away. Meanwhile... I finally managed to get rid of the thorn in my side at work, and we found a suitable replacement who works hard every day. John and I live a happy life, and I appreciate every day now.